I don't know, Bobby. Delgado hasn't shown yet. Don't worry, I got a tip that he left town 20 minutes ago. 20 minutes? Is he walking? You know, the last thing a wanted killer like Delgado wants is to get a speeding ticket. Tell me something, Bobby. How old was his last victim? A month shy of 12. Dying is too good for this creep. You know it. Hey, looks like it's showtime. What, what do you got? Green sedan, Arizona plates. That's him, wait up. How far away are you? I'm uh, five minutes away. That's four minutes too long. Wait a minute, Reno, he's armed and dangerous. You're gonna need backup. Delgado. Back off! Back off! I'm killing, man. I'm killing. Get this, I'm killing. All right. Back off! Get back! Get back! Take it easy. Put it down. Put it down. Now! Put it down. Shut up. Shut up, baby. Put the gun down. Put it down. Right? Right. Looks like he chose dead. He was a cop and good at his job, but he committed the ultimate sin and testified against other cops gone bad. Cops that tried to kill him, but got the woman he loved instead. Framed for murder, now he prowls the Badlands, an outlaw hunting outlaws, a bounty hunter, a renegade. I really don't get it with you. What is wrong with Paris? Uh, I'd rather go camping. You know what your problem is? You have no imagination whatsoever. Your problem is that you make too damn much money. And so do you. Didn't I tell you Delgado was gonna pay off big and big he did, huh? You know what, that's it. Don't move. What a brilliant idea, sir. Hello, Doris, Bobby. Another destination, my darling. Monte Carlo, mon petit chou. What do you got? A villa? A villa with a yacht. Sounds very nice. Did you hear something? It's that cat again. We have to share the yacht? Oh. Well, who do we have to share the yacht with? The swimsuit models from Sports Illustrated because they're shooting the cover. <laughs> 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 
Oh no. Can you do that? Yeah, it's simple. Doris, he'll call you back. We have a little problem. So whatever it is, I don't want to hear about it. There's a, a baby on your doorstep. Well, leave it there. Maybe it'll go away. It can't go away. Why not? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What are you doing? Don't bring it in here. I'm not going to leave it out there. OK, OK. You know what? See if there's a note. Go ahead and read it. Come on. Look what you did. I did. You stuck your fat finger in there. Now it's crying. Stop yelling. There's no note. How do you make it stop? Well, I don't know. It's your baby. You found it. How do you know you're not the father? How do you know you're not the father? You sleep around at campsites. Oh, come on. Who were you dating 15 months ago? Hey, excuse me, but that was my celibacy period. What about you? <laughs> celibacy. I was hunting Manuel Valdez. Huh? South of the border. Oh. Well, if it's not your baby and it's not my baby, maybe the baby belongs to one of our bounties. How do you figure that? Well, we put Daddy in prison. We take Mommy's main means of support away, and Mommy gives us Junior, you know? OK, let's check this out. Any family resemblance? No. What's this one? He doesn't have any teeth. Neither does it. How about this right here? Oh, will you give it a rest? Well, we've got 42 bounties behind bars. Maybe it's time we pay them all a visit. Hmm? You're not going to take her to jail. It's a girl? Pink. Oh, yeah. Well, I need her to ID your dad. Bobby, she's just a baby. She's not going to know who her father is. It happens all the time. It's called imprinting. Ducks do it. <laughs> I'd like to make a reservation for tonight. Single or double room? All I need is a single room. Got one with a double bed. A yeah, double bed's fine. Mary Beth Scholl? OK, Miss Scholl, thanks. Thanks. Sorry, sweetheart. I'll be back as soon as I can. <laughs> Let me guess. She didn't recognize her dad. No potential papas. Well, that can't be. Well, yes, it can. You see, I spent the last six hours interviewing every one of these delightful gentlemen, and even had Shy triple check their stories. No babies. Let me see that. Well, you didn't check off Diego Pascal. Extradited. Tracy Elwood. Sex change operation. Ooh. Rocky Shoal. Hey, he broke out last week. In fact, there's a $20,000 bounty on top of his head. Well, now's no time to go chasing bounties. You're right. It's time for us to go to social services. What for? They take care of abandoned babies, Reno. What if someone left a baby on the wrong doorstep? Look, let's give it until tomorrow. By then, Mama's bound to show up. Oh, come on. For all we know, the Munchkin's parents are sick with worry. I know I would be. She'll get lost in the system. Bobby, she's helpless. Well, do you have any better ideas? Excuse me, Mrs. Debbie Hines. Excuse me, are you Mrs. Debbie Hines? Well, that depends on who you are. Well, are uh, you the one who takes care of abandoned babies? Thanks to the recent budget cuts, I'm in charge of anything that parks in front of my desk. What's the problem? Someone left the baby outside of our offices. Fill this out, and you can leave the baby with me. What happens after I fill this out? The baby becomes case number 57890. This is a baby we're talking about, not a case number. Mister, if I let my work get personal, I would go out of my mind in less than a week. What happens after the child gets a number? Well, if nobody shows up, she becomes a ward of the court. And then who takes care of the child? The county facility has an extremely competent staff. County facility? You mean as an orphanage? We consider the term orphanage inappropriate. Well, thank you very much. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Have a nice day. Aren't you going to fill out a form? Oh, no. We were just kind of curious, that's all. But is this the abandoned child? 
<laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you see, I'm um, the okay. uncle yeah. of this child. And it's got plenty of parents, plenty of uncles, plenty of aunts, a lot of cousins, right? Yes. Have a nice day. Bye. So, uh, why the change of heart, Uncle Bobby? We heard Mrs. Hines in there. They're going to give baby a number, then ship baby off to some horrible place and probably feed the baby some terrible gruel. Well, feeding baby sounds like a good idea. All right, we'll stop at a takeout. I don't think baby eats takeout. Babies love cheeseburgers. Baby doesn't have teeth. All right, then we'll stop at the store and get some baby food. What kind of baby food? Well, how hard could it be? They got all kinds of food. They got big ones, yellow ones, purple ones. I make the news? <laughs> no. I'm guessing the boys down at the prison didn't want the world to know they got caught with their drawers down. <laughs> so Mary Beth doesn't know I'm out? That ain't likely, no. She been in town today? I ain't seen her. Good. Give me a slice of that apple pie. And I'm gonna go home and give that bitch what she deserves. Come on, man. You don't mean that. She rolled over on me. She took my kid. I never even seen my baby. Never even held her. That's why I broke out. So don't be getting soft in the head, you hear? Loud and clear. Someone comes in asking for me. You never seen me, got that? Got it. I'm watching you. You know what? I can't believe there are 39 different kind of baby foods. Well, I can't believe there isn't one that she likes. Well, here, why don't you go ahead and try this one? No, not that one. Try this one. No, it's too hot. Well, give me one. Uh, the juice. Try the juice. Well, just give me anything. Juice, right there. Come on. OK, that's all right. It's all right. Shh, Test shh, it. Shh. OK. All right, here it comes. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Oh, she doesn't like this either. It's OK. Don't believe it, man. Look at all the stuff oh, I bought for her. There's got to be something here she likes. Oh, I don't know. Gosh. Hey, what about this puppet, huh? Uh-oh. What? We need to change her. How do you know that? Well, come over here. Man. Uh, diapers. Don't panic. Diapers. I got some right back here. Let me get some. Come on, hurry up. I'm going to have to use the desk. No, don't do that. It's my desk. Well, then I'll change her on the couch, then. It's a $5,000 sofa. Will you make up your mind? Well, hold this. Here. I got it right here. So, okay, right here. Right here. Put it right here. OK? Oh, right on the blank. Sweetheart. Come on. Oh, yeah. Come on. Good gracious. Yeah. Yes, indeed. OK, here we go. There we go. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Ooh, look at that. There you go. This much? Clean it real good. OK. All right, there we go. Hey, Bobby, check it out. It's a music box. Oh, it's just so dirty, but you gotta get all clean. There we go. You know, that wouldn't have happened if you didn't go out and buy diapers for Sinbad. Well, what did they do before they had plastic disposable diapers? Well, they had cloth diapers. Well, we don't have any cloth diapers. Yes, we do. You want me to use my bandana? It's 10 to midnight. You want to go out there and buy new diapers? You owe me big time. OK, biker baby. Here we go. Almost done. Wee! Here we go. Good girl. Reno. What? Did you see this? Isn't Old Baby a store downtown? Yeah. Maybe we can track who bought this. It'll be our first stop in the morning.
you carry? My shades. Don't worry, I'll get the door. Come on. Oh, I never knew you could buy so many things for a baby. Yeah. Don't you realize that baby merchandise is a billion dollar business? I mean, they got crib, play pens. Hey, look at this stroller right here. Let's see how much this costs. $525. I expect automatic transmission and white walls. Oof, look at all these strollers. My gosh, all kinds of stuff. Are we buying a stroller today? Well, we'd like to ask you a few questions. You see, we have a problem. There are no problems at Old Baby, only challenges. Do you know what a challenge is? Hey, you're scaring the kid. Oh. Yes, I know what a challenge Do is. Do you know how to spell challenge? Yes, I know how to spell challenge, you overgrown road. Now listen to me, we want to find out who bought that basket. He's a bad man. I don't want to play with him anymore. Come on. Listen to me, all right? All right, I got a 45 automatic right here in the jacket, all right? That's open season on rabbits. Now, if you don't tell us who brought that basket, I'm gonna take you out back and use you for target practice. Okay. Okay, no problem. All our records are computerized, okay? I'll use the barcode in the transaction order, and I'll get somebody's name, and then I'll get you an address in less than five minutes. Is that okay? Make up to read, pal. Hop out of here. Hop! It's okay, baby. He's a bad bunny. You know, Mary Beth Larson doesn't ring any bells. Mary Beth Scholl does. Who's Mary Beth Scholl? Rocky Scholl's wife. Larson's probably Mary Beth's maiden name. Well, who said anything about Rocky Shoal? You did, yesterday. You tried to question him, but he escaped, remember? Oh, that's right. Wait a minute, she testified against him, and he said he'd kill her if he ever got out. Do get the door, will you? Come on, baby, baby. She was pregnant at the time of the trial. Well, gosh, wait a minute, pregnant? She's about to pop. Yeah, that was about uh, eight months ago. The timing's perfect. What well, do you think Mary Beth knows that Rocky broke out? I'm guessing she figures he's gonna try to hurt her. That's why she put her with us. Well, then we gotta find her before he does. Did uh, Bunny Rabbit give you an address? Yeah, hold on. Come on, let go of this. <laughs> 43 Blue Bell Lane. That's about, uh, what, 10 miles from here. Let's ride. Show must have just left, or Mary Beth is a lousy housekeeper. Mary Beth? Let me go check over here. That's a baby. That's a baby. Uh, do you have a reservation for a Mary Beth Larson or a Mary Beth Scholl? I'm her brother. I'm trying to find her. Oh. Hey, Reno. Hey, I think I found her. So do I. Santee Inn. Fair Oaks Campground. Where'd you get the Santee Inn? Well, where, where'd you get that? Oh, I found this in the trash well, right here. Let me see it. Cops. See ya. Wait a minute, hold it. Don't go. They're gonna think you're a rocket, and then the whole world's gonna be on your tail. Well, what am I supposed to do? Hide. What about her? What about her? If the cops see her, they're gonna start asking questions. Take her, take her, take her, take her with you. Come on. Officers. Who the hell are you? Bobby Six Killer, sir. I'm a licensed bounty hunter. Here is my card. What the hell happened here? Well, it was like this when I got here. I'm assuming Rocky, well, he's probably taken off by now, and I was going my way out myself. Well, don't let us stop you. Ben, check the place out. What was that? Oh, it was my stomach. You see? 
see you. I'm on a diet. And I don't eat breakfast. It kind of growls. You trying to hide something? Yes, oh, baby. Yes, I'm sorry. I lied. I found this. Over there on the couch between the sofa and the cushion. And uh, that's probably where Rocky went. Sorry. Ben, let's go. Baby. Good baby. OK. Thank you, Ben. Watch it, Tonto. I'm going to close it up, sir. Tell me, can't you keep that kid quiet for five minutes? Oh, I suppose you could do better. That's not the idea. How'd you get rid of the cops? I gave them the location of Rocky Shoals hideout, or at least that's where they think they're going. Where are they really going? My dry cleaners, <clears throat> which gives us plenty of time to go ahead and get to the Santee Inn. Well, I still think she's headed for the campgrounds. Well, good. You take the kid and you go over there and I'll meet ah, you. I'm not taking this baby. Well, then we'll go together under one condition. First, we go to the Santee Inn, and if she's not there, which I know she is, then we'll go ahead and go to your campground. Deal? Did you hear that? I did. I think it means yes. Reno, she left the door open. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> She's been here. We found her mommy. Can you believe it? We did not find her mommy. What are you talking about? There's nothing in here. There's no toothpaste, toothbrush, shampoo, nothing. We're on a wild goose chase, Bobby. What about those clothes right over there? Oh, Bobby, you just don't get it. She wanted us to think she was here. I said we give her another half hour. It's a waste of time. Let's go to the campground. No, you're always doing it. You grab the door. Hey, look, you said it was an old reservation slip. What if she took it out to get the phone number? Well, wait a minute. Why don't we just slow down and try to figure this whole thing out? Why don't we, OK? Oh. Hey, man, it's Rocky. We gotta get the baby out of here. Make it to the Hummer. I'll go to my bike. What, are you crazy with the baby? Well, what do you want me to do? Sit here and get shot at? All right, ready on three. Okay. One, one, go! go. Okay, that's a good call. I'm down. All right, man. Come on. Here we go. Okay. That's a good girl. Coochie, coochie, coo. Don't tell Ralph later about this.
don't you try rubbing two sticks together? Very bad. Vince? Oh, Clarissa! Mommy's been so worried about you. What are you doing here? What am I doing? I was going to ask you the same question. Didn't you get my note? What note? Right here. Well, how are we supposed to find this and all that frilly stuff? Look, I didn't have a choice. You could have called ahead of time. And would you have taken her? I didn't think so. Vince Rocky broke out. Well, that's old news. Then you and Bobby caught him? No, he ambushed us. How? We followed your little trail of leads to the Santee Inn. Then he opened fire on us. And we were lucky to get out of there at all. Wait a second. We? You took my baby to a shootout? Well, we didn't know there was going to be a shootout. Shootouts aren't safe for babies. Shootouts aren't safe for anyone. Oh, is that supposed to make me feel better? Look, we got here, didn't we? Just should have taken her with me. No one shot at me. Yeah, not yet they didn't. Bobby and I did the best thing we could, OK, for this baby. We don't know anything about babies, but we kept her warm and fed and clothed. And it wasn't easy, believe me. Thanks. You know how to start a fire? That's a piece of cake. <laughs> Not for me. It's a lot easier than changing a diaper. <laughs> Is that why Clarissa's wearing a bandana? Yeah. make it look so easy. <laughs> I've had eight months worth of practice. Believe me, I was pretty helpless at first. <sighs> what? I was just thinking. Of all the times I've stared down the barrel of a gun or been outnumbered in a fight, I was never as frightened as I was thinking about taking care of Clarissa. You ever thought about having kids? Yeah. I mean, not that I wouldn't like to. I just, uh, I don't think it's in the cards. Haven't met the right girl yet? No, that's not it. Then what is? Life on the road. Kids been raised in a lot worse places. Take it from me. Maybe. How do you know you're ready? For a, a baby, I mean. <laughs> well, never ready. When it happens, then you're ready. <laughs> oh, what's wrong, honey? All right, you've had your bottle, your diaper's been changed. It's just going to be one of those nights. Hang on. Where are you going? Watch this. <coughs> Am I missing something? She slept like a rock on the way out. I can't believe this. It works better than a lullaby. <laughs> you make a great dad. I'd come in handy one day. Yeah. Excuse me, but may I speak to the babysitter? Bobby, where the hell you been? Getting my head blown off. Where you been? I've been trying to get in touch with you. You must be out of the calling area. Fair Oaks Campground. I found Mary Beth. Oh, I should have known. You bag Rocky? Well, no, but he thinks he bagged me. What? Oh, never mind. I'll explain it to you later. You stay exactly where you are, all right? Over and out. 
Thank you very much, partner. Please tell me you've got Rocky. Well, no such luck. You've been monitoring the police radio? State and local. They don't have him either. Any idea where he could have gone? He's got a sister in Fresno, but they're not speaking. If I know Rocky, he's not looking to hide. He's looking for me. Maybe that's not such a bad idea. What are you, crazy? Oh, now we're in trouble. Terrific. What's wrong? Me and the law don't get along. You got a record? Don't ask. Oh, you want your bottle? There you go. There you go. Well, what a pleasant surprise, sir. Lovely day, and how are you? Ben, how are you, sir? Very good. Oh, you lied to me. I ended up at a dry cleaner, and I want to know why. Look, he was trying to protect me. I'm... Let me guess. Mary Beth Scholl, you're Rocky's ex-wife. Rocky is trying to kill me. I'm supposed to believe that. She's telling you the truth. It was her testimony that put Rocky in jail in the first place. Who's your friend? My brother. He's helping me with the baby. Funny, you don't look like any kind of nursemaid I've ever seen. I do the best I can. A matter of fact, Vince was just about to take me into town to pick up a prescription. Took us 15 hours to track you here, Mrs. Scholl. Nobody's going anywhere. Look, officer, my baby's been running 104 fevers since daybreak. If you want to get on that fancy police radio and get the pharmacy to deliver, that's fine by me. Otherwise, get out of my way and let me take care of my child. What's your pharmacy? Ames Drugstore. Numbers 5550153. The pharmacist's name is Greg, and the prescription's for 10 milligrams of ampicillin. Look, if you're going to charge us with something, then you do it. Otherwise, let us get on with our business. Well, you take care of your baby, ma'am. That's strike two on you, Tonto. Strike three, and you're out. Let's go, Ben. You're good. You're welcome. Can I help you? Huh. I love a toy store. Well, you looking for anything in particular, or are you just window shopping? Uh, I'm going hunting. For what? My wife. <laughs> oh, you think I'm kidding? Well, they don't pay me to think here. That bitch took my kid. I ain't never seen my baby girl in person. Give me a couple of boxes of nine millimeters. She forgot to pay. Um, I don't have any cash. Well, we take credit cards. I'm an escape con. I got no credit cards. Mister, you better put them back right now. Very nice doing business with you. I can stand giving her up again. Look, she's safer with social services than she is with you. Well, what if they try to take her away from me? Nothing like that's gonna happen. We promise. No, they can call me an unfit mother. I saw that on a TV movie. Look, Mary Beth, trying to hide you is hard enough. But with Clarissa, I mean, you might as well go ahead and put a target on your back. Look, I still think I'm better off heading to Ashford. We can stay at my grandma's. Mary Beth, that's one of the first places Rocky would look. 
You're better off sitting tight until we can find him. So what happens if you don't find Rocky? Yeah, Jim. We will. We've got an advantage. You seen Rocky? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. tell them she's here, but they gotta hustle their butt down here because I think they're headed coming. to Ashford. Will you please just give us half a chance? I already have. I trusted you with my kid, and what happened? You took her to a shootout. Yeah, but we didn't do it on purpose. I've had enough of this. Mm -hmm. What about our plan? Good luck. Where are you going? As far away as I can get from the two of you. Oh, oh. I can't let you go. Look, I didn't ask why the police were after you. But if you don't get out of my way, I'll make sure every cop in this county has your license number. Let her go. Go ahead, let her go. Come on, Clarissa. So, uh, think they bought it? He made a call. Well, what do you say we reach out and touch someone? Good idea. So how was everything, folks? Why don't you tell us? Pardon me? Well, we'd like to know if Rocky Scholl is on his way to Ashford. Rocky, yeah. Rocky. Who's Rocky? Uh, uh. We'll be oh. taking that. Thank you very much. Well, look at this, sir. Uh, what are we going to do with pond scum like that, hmm? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, well, hello, ladies. Would you be so kind as to call the cops and tell them that you have a vicious criminal? I think the phone is uh, right over there. What did he do? He helped a convicted murderer escape from prison. Shame on you. Yes. Now, I'm sure you know how to use one of these, young lady. Now, if he should move, shoot him. Aren't you going to give your husband a kiss hello? Rocky, what are you doing here? Oh, don't act so surprised. I told you I'd find you. Leave us alone. I'm sorry, I can't do that. You see, Clarissa's coming with me. Yeah, you'll have to kill me first. Oh, that's the best idea I've heard all day. Come on. Ah! Come on. Oh, Clarissa. What did you do with my baby? What you do with my baby? Happy Father's Day. Shoot him! Yeah! Shoot me! <laughs> Drop the gun, I blow her away. Keys, keys! Uh, uh, yeah. Well, let's just take the bus, shall we? Back off! or die.
Well, that's end of the line for you, pal. Hey, hey, you're dead. I killed you. Well, let's just say that I've been uh, blessed. Wait, let me look at her. Ain't she beautiful? Ain't she beautiful? Ain't she the most beautiful thing you ever seen? Yeah. Takes after her mother. Hey. Let's go. I can't thank you enough for all you've done for us. Well, Rocky won't be bothering you anymore. Hope not. You can count on it. You know, it's kind of sad. Clarissa growing up without a dad. Well, with you as her mom, she'll turn out just fine. Besides, how many kids have two honorary uncles, huh? Look what Uncle Bobby bought you. Where did he get all this stuff? <laughs> Don't ask. Well, I guess you're a pretty lucky girl after all, huh? Yeah. Even luckier. What's in here? Wow. $20,000? It's the bounty from Rocky's capture. We thought uh, you might want to use it for Clarissa's college fund. Thank you. You make sure she majors in finance, OK? <laughs> you be a good girl, OK, sweetheart? Yes. May I, sir? Of course. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> you two take care of each other now. Uh oh What? <clears throat> Do you have one of those uh, spare bandanas in your pocket? Oh, no. <laughs> go, go, go.